back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Well, this is part of a much longer video, but I wanted to break out this point separate just in case this was something that you needed faster. We're going to be bringing you a bunch of other tips like how to tell if, the, if you have a leak, if it's just from the Schrader valves. This one was completely empty of Freon and I pulled a vacuum on it. So that's where I started here. But anyway, let's jump right in to how to replace a Schrader valve okay. that broke <laughs> off inside. And so we're going to fire it up and see how we're doing. 25, it's looking good. The microns have, have done nothing but rise up, so good. I'm gonna go ahead and change the shader core. Now really, uh, this one's got a vacuum on it, so I don't even need to use the JB tool, really. I can just change them um, without it. So I'm going to pull it off. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off since it's not important right now at this point. And we'll just re-pull our vacuum once we change these, change these out. So it really doesn't matter. I can just, I can use the tool or I can just pull them straight out. We actually, uh, we have no vacuum. So, I mean, we just have a vacuum, so it doesn't matter. We can start over fresh. So this is a little easier. As long as the Schrader core actually comes out, we'll be good. And that is if sometimes this one, if they got bent or something, sometimes Schrader valve caps get tightened on too much. And then you can't get it out because the inner portion gets mushroomed. Bent. I might be over at on this one. Oh boy. And sometimes the pressure actually helps that. So we don't have any pressure on this. Okay. Oh shoot, the inner portion is still inside. That sucks. And it's got a vacuum on it. It's pulling a, the uh, vacuum. It's like sucking my finger in. I'm going to need to see if I can hopefully remove the inner portion. Ah shoot. That's no fun. I'm putting a cap on it for now. I'd rather hold pressure than pulling a bunch of moisture in. We'll boil it off when we're done anyway. Okay, got lucky on my extraction kit. It's always a good thing when you can find what you're looking for. And uh, this one, I'm just using the, the smallest size here. And we're just going to twist it in. To twist it out, it's reverse threaded. so. It basically tightens as we twist it in to pull it out. Okay, and it won't budge yet, so I'm going to use my tool here to just kind of turn it. And hopefully, and now we'll twist it right out. And yay, we have extracted our deal. And I might have to get that off later because I need another tool to hold it. It's really tightened in there pretty good. And yeah, that went great. It's always a good thing. So now I get a nice new Schrader core. And we'll put some Nylog on there on the O ring. Yep, and this just confirms, you know, what was going on, that we were losing the refrigerant. Also, you can see the kind of the marking on the sidewall, but that's where we were, that's where we lost our charge from, so. Yay, we're in. Now I can re-pull a vacuum and uh, get this thing on the road. <laughs> All right, get it charged up and do everything how we want to this one. Okay, so we have no refrigerant in, so I won't really need my 
gloves yet. We're just going to be re-pulling our vacuum. Hope you like it. Hope to be bringing you so much more. Thank you.